Hi everyone, I'm here for a video. I don't know how quick it will be, but some people have been asking, um, what notebooks have I been using lately? And if you saw from that little clip at the beginning, there's actually quite a few. Um, so what I'm going to do is go through this big pile, and there's even more way back over here that don't fit into the screenshot, and let people know what I've been using them for. Um, so why don't we start with this beautiful notebook right here? This is a notebook by Monique, and her shop is um, Lefay's, Morgan Lefay's Trinkets, and this is a gorgeous notebook. Uh, you can see right there the beautiful pattern on it. Um, I cannot remember the name of this. Um, I'm not going to open very much because this is the one that I use as my wallet. Um, this is the one that I use as my wallet. Um, I keep cash and I have the two Midori pins in there. I um, have my receipt from dinner last night. Um, my calendar. You can see driver's license, credit card stuff there. Uh, and then here's where I keep my bullet journal of the way too many things that I need to do. And a zipper pouch with a bunch of other stuff in it. Um, before I had switched to this beautiful little notebook, I had been using this one. This is by Kellyanne Jordan at the Foxy Fix. And this is the Sandstorm, and it has the wonderful new pockets that they have. And I moved um, a few things into it. I've got another Midori monthly calendar. It, it has my weekly calendar. And um, now that it's school is over, yesterday was the last thing that I had to do. Um, I don't need a weekly, not really much anymore. And I have one of the... Um, it's upside down, of course. One of the um, expense trackers from Plan Inc. on Etsy. Um, but this is wonderful as a wallet because what I would do is I would keep my um, driver's license here and an ATM debit card here and, you know, and it was perfect. Um, but I wanted to use this because I haven't been using it and I want to see what this looks like over time. What, what happens to the, the, the design and the leather. So that's what I've been using for my wallet. Um, these two, I've been going back and forth between. This is my Midori. You can see right there. Midori made in Thailand, traveler's notebook. This is the regular size. And it is the uh, Narita Airport Edition. And I just have a little uh, Japanese yen on it. Um, but what I have been using this for is for my Nihongo, my Japanese class. So this has everything um, Japanese related. Oh, from when we were learning our first kanji and how to do numbers and all of that fun stuff. Um, I am taking another Japanese class this summer. Um, it is um, a little bit more of an intensive. It's like a semester class in two weeks. Um, but thankfully, it's reviewing all of the stuff that we did this semester, and that's what we did this semester. Um, but it is mainly all uh, conversation Japanese. So we'll be taking all of the stuff that we learned and doing conversation with it. And so I created a notebook about um, the classes. And so I can track my um, progress with my um, Japanese and for the different classes I need to take and all of that. Um, and then some vocabulary, and this is going to be the notebook that I use for the remainder of my Japanese class this summer. So that's what I have in my Narita Airport edition. Um, it's a beautiful notebook and it's perfect for that because it has to deal with any, with Japan. Um, so you see there's a couple of other Midoris here. I've got two more Midoris. These are both a brown Midori. Um, let's start with this one first. 
This is, as you can see, a Midori Traveler's Notebook made in Thailand. And it's an older one because it doesn't say Traveler's Notebook like they do now. But this is our um, financial planner. Um, what we have in here is, you can see, Financial Planner 2016. And there it is, Plan Inc. Right. To keep track of all of our expenses. Then I have a Pan Am Midori Pan Am Edition notebook that just has its grid and has, you know, we're not doing this, but, you know, we're, we're, some of the steps are great. Um, I don't have to worry about college funding because I'm not going to have a, a child. <laughs> um, so there's like some steps in there that we don't have to worry about. Um, then I have a Foxy Fix dashboard with um, some post-its, some cute little flag markers that I got from Mitts, from My Life Mitts, here on um, YouTube and Etsy and Instagram. And then I have a um, Growing Up Goddess, I think it's down at the bottom there, insert that I bought and printed and bound myself. Some more post-its, and then another... Um, Pan Am dash uh, Shitajiki writing board. So that's what's in this Midori. The other brown Midori, this was the very first full size traveler's notebook I got. And it has one of the, um, if it will, there we go, Traveler's Star. It's the um, limited edition, you know, little charm. And what this houses is, oh, has some stuff that I'm journaling about. It's got like old cards and they're like old Foxy Fix cards and you know, lots of stuff from Etsy and purchases, but it houses um, my large size <laughs> journal. Um, so, um, so there's some of my Russian. Anyways, um, so that's what's, what this is housing. And then it also has a notebook that I do. Um, it's one of the papers that I use for our inserts. And so I like to see what happens over time with um, the different inks that people will use. Um, and you can see I had one of those um, Leuchtturm pen loops on here. And this is what it will do to your leather if you stick it on your leather. And it's still a bit tacky. Um, so I don't do that anymore. I stick it to some sort of a folder that I know will be in the notebook for a while. So that's what's in my Midori. Um, let's see. Um, let's go to this one right here. This is, it doesn't have a marking. This was one of the Foxy Fix notebooks from one of their platinum, not their platinum sale, but their, um, the one before that. And, um, this is what I use to keep track of all of my students. And I, you can see what happens to the natural leather. This was the bottom sitting on my desk at uh, the conservatory where I teach. And this was the top. Um, I should have been smart and opened it up so it would tan um, evenly, but you can see there's a little bit darker there. But what I do is um, I have the Peaky Dory Design monthly calendar, or actually, it's a month on two pages, and then a week, and then grid. And I have that, this I think is through from January through June, the first half of the year, and each is in a different little binding. And then I have this, this wonderful, um, this is a moleskin chapters, and it doesn't really say, but this I keep track of. All of the repertoire that my students are using, some notes and stuff. So this is the one that I use just for keeping track of my students um, at the conservatory, just the conservatory. Um, let's see, there's too much stuff. Um, this is a Foxy Fix um, and this is in the uh, Wonderlust leather, and this is the, um, I want to say they call it espresso. And so what I have in here is a gorgeous folder that I have protected with one of the Foxy Fix dashboards. And this is a folder by Monique, 
at Morgan Le Fay's Trinkets. And it has these beautiful pen loops. And this is one of her inserts that she enclosed with a notebook that I had purchased. Um, and then this is one that I had printed. This was like a an error page that I did. And so I turned it into a notebook. Um, there's the Here's another dashboard, and here is my art journal that I recently started, and it's got lots of crazy things in it. There was an order from Traveler's Lounge, um, and some journaling, and some, this is like watercolors and stamping and stencils, and more journaling. I never used the pink colors, so I wanted to put some pink down. Um, let's see, I forget what else all is in here. So yeah, so this is my first stab at really doing any sort of thing like this. And I wanted to see how certain colors work together. Um, what else do I have in here? And this one started to stick together. Ah. Some, dragonflies and such. So that's what's in here is my um, art journal and I like having it smaller now because I don't feel um, you know intimidated by a large piece of paper. Uh, the next notebook I have right here is my um, Foxy Fix. There it is. It is a 2016 edition. And this is the Rowena leather, which might, they might be running out of um, and might not be able to get. But as you can see, I house everything Peaky Dory design in here. So um, that's a potential new logo we have. This houses everything Peaky Dory designs that we are doing. And here you can see how I put the pen loop on a folder, craft folder. Um, and the new pockets in the Foxy Fix are just wonderful. So that's what I house in there. And, um, oh, I wanted to say that with the stuff where I keep track of my students, sometimes I have it in this Foxy Fix. And it's an old Foxy Fix because it has that stamp. I've had it almost a year now. And it has the old style pen loop. Oop, let me get on screen. And then sometimes <laughs> I have it in this beautiful one by Foxy Fix. And this I did get from the Platinum Sale and I can't remember the name of the leather. It's not cinnamon bark, it's the other one. So this stuff rotates between these three notebooks. And the last notebook that I'm using is this very big one. And it is a Sandstorm <laughs> Foxy Fix. You can see it all the way down there. There it is. And this is the Sandstorm portfolio. And so what I use this for, let me see if I can, oh. um, it's a gorgeous piece of leather. But what I do is I use it um, to carry with me the um, music that I need for my students, like um, an orchestral excerpt book. Um, let's see. The, one of my favorite scale books, the Vivian Scale Exercises, an articulation book that all of us use, um, Reichert Seven Daily Exercises, all flutists should use the articulation exercises in there, go with this. The Physical Flute um, is a wonderful book that not many people know about, but I use with my students. Some Telemann Sonata uh, in B minor. And then a project that I'm working on. Um, so there you go, and this is just one of those um, folders, uh, Target folder, um, with one of their cute little arrow designs. So there you go, it's kind of a long video, and I know I'm going to have to edit some things, but just so you can see, those are the notebooks that I'm using right now. So there you go, those are the notebooks that I'm currently using. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below, and I will link all of the different shops. Thanks so much, bye bye.